Hello, Internet. My name is Zero, and welcome back to Sowie Face, and I believe this is either Episode 7 or Episode 8. But last we left off, we were here towards the end of this episode, I believe. And we have the ability to switch between Larry and Sally. Oh my god, I forgot to read that. Uh, you must use the ancient relic to assist Sally. What does it do? Okay, don't tell me. Hello? Alright, I've probably butchered his voice. In the time that I've actually... In the time that I've actually been playing. Oh my god, I love the music here. It's... All right. Anything different here for Larry? Okay, so apparently this is where we get a lot of the tapes from. From this section, but they're like really hard to get. So I remember this dude. The shapeless man walks in awkward strides. And he's gone. What's nothing's further over here? Okay. I, I did look up a video on if I missed anything in this because I went through this and I screwed up the video multiple times. Oh shoot, keys. What are these keys? Keys to 504. Oh cool. That's Megan's room. You got anything for that? Oh my god. It took me a moment to like notice that Larry's eyes are like almost glossy because of the fact that he died. Okay, so I guess I can't go into those rooms as Larry. Can't go into them as Sally either. I can go into this one. So I just want to be extra thorough this time around because I did, like, go through it quite a bit when I screwed up the recording. I didn't realize till last minute, you guys. Nothing to do here. There's this bedroom door. Nothing. Still nothing. Oh, shoot. Oh, I don't like that. Megan, you here? Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody took this portion of the game and just did a whole bunch of rock music to it. I think that'd be freaking awesome! Oh, I gotta go over here. So apparently none of the ghosts are here, they're all gone. 
Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Skin. Mumble. It's not her here. She's not alive anymore. If we won't be, and we won't be, we're so hungry. Now. Oh, wait, we're so hungry now. And this skin. This fucking skin, it's so itchy. Why? This skin isn't mine. The skin isn't mine. It's not mine. Okay. Don't worry, I'll go through those all at once I have like all of the tapes. And there's like some weird ways to get them that I didn't even know about. I think now I can like safely drop down. Uh, yes. I, I had glitched this game before. I did not realize I was doing that. So what had happened was somehow I triggered it to where Larry, when you switch between Larry to Sally, you're both stuck on this shadow plane or in the afterlife. The shadow realm. I don't know. Anybody ever play Yu-Gi-Oh? Shit, are you guys okay? Shit, are you two okay? What the hell is this? Mom? Henry? Can you hear me? We're gonna fix this, just hold on. Okay, that did something. Uh, can I just scrape this goo off of them? If you can hear me, we're gonna fix this. Just hold on. Oh god, I... I've butchered his voice now. What's over here? Hang in there, dude. Sounds like something happened in the hallway. Hang in there, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna assume there's something I need to do like this. What are you guys doing? We're watching TV. But there's no... But what's the point, really? These shows are all the same. Everything has become so predictable. Um, are you two alright? We're fine, Sal. Just fine. Everything is peachy. Oh my god. Wait, are you... Are you crying blood, or is that just your eyes? Not Lisa. I can see that clear as day. I'm talking about Henry there. Okay. <sighs> Did the music change from the, uh... It obviously changed from the roof to the other floors, but I mean, like, from the fifth floor to the fourth floor. Did it change? Interaction whatsoever. All right. 
I need you to do your thing, Larry. Oh god, this is so creepy with all the black goo. Alright. Alright, that shouldn't have taken me that long. Alright. We're already past the first 15 seconds. We're already 10 minutes into this? Dang, I didn't even realize. Herman, what are you doing here, dude? Herman, what the hell happened to you? You look like shit, dude. I could say the same to you. How did... Wait a minute. How are you here? Same as you. Dead. No, I mean, how are you in this room? The spirits here should be confined to their place of death. Sandy should be here, but it's too late. I was too late. She's gone. All of the old souls have assimilated. Rosenberg like broke the spell That was holding me in the treehouse or something. I'm not really sure You know what happened to the other ghosts? Does it have to do with the cult? It doesn't matter now nothing does I just need to wait here until it takes me It's the fate we all face eventually It's not too late Sal is going to stop this thing, and I'm going to help him do it. Your efforts will be wasted. I don't know why I gave you that voice, but uh, later. Alright, Sal, your turn to go in that room. <sighs> oh god, I, I know I'm supposed to expect a body in there now. I guess that's what he meant when he said he was leaving. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, your turn to show up, dude. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I, oh, I don't like this. Oh yeah, so there was a tape in here earlier in this episode, or in this chapter of the game, and what I was supposed to do, I was supposed to fix it with the pocket. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Yeah, that's the glitch I was talking about. Yeah, so now we're stuck like this. Oh shit, wait. That fixed it. Uh evolve. These ghosts so full of life, strong, healthy blood, tender meat. Oh, how we crave their flesh, yet they deny us. Soon, soon we will be there, and they will have called, and we will have answered. The floor is moist. Is this me? There is nothing left. We have consumed. Okay. And have a lovely day. I did not realize that would actually fix the glitch. It actually fixed it! Holy crap! Okay, so I went into that one, found Herman, found the tape on this floor, went in here, went in here. Yeah, we're good to go down.
All right, time to follow Sally into the abyss, my dude. Why are you, why are you still doing your walking animation? Okay, that's just something we gotta live with now. Oh shoot, that quad's a window. CJ's place. Okay, sorry for those of you that have to put up with that. It's loud. Or I don't know how loud that is for you guys. Yeah, that's the one. Sally face, it is good to see you. Hello, Sal, what is happening? Greetings, I am glad you could make it. I can't stay for too long. I'm short I'm sort of in the middle of something. It's good to see all of you see you all though. Are you guys feeling alright? We are just dandy, but everything is peachy. You should stay, Sal. Yes, it would be best for you to stay here. There is no use in fighting it, my friend. Uh, I really should be going now. Everything is fine. Don't worry, Sal. You will see. God, you guys have turned into frickin' robots now. That one. Okay, good. Okay. Frickin' loud. Oh, that's right. I gotta switch. Less time than the other one. Got it. Chug's place. All right, Chug. Hopefully you're doing all right. Chug, how are you feeling, buddy? Feeling? Yeah. There's a something going around. I think it'll be cleared up soon, though. Soon? Yeah, just keep an eye on Soda, okay? Soda? Your daughter, remember her? She's sitting right next to you. Oh, dude, they've lost their memories. Is that... Nopakoa? <laughs> Oh my god, I want some Nopakoa. Freaky Furby and... I guess Cookie Monster ripoff? So, oh, it's a broken Barbie. I remember I had to do something there too. Oh, oh it was the only one that stood out of place. Wait, what happened in the... The Nopakoa! Okay, why are... Why is theirs different, though? Like... Theirs is fading in and out. Like, they're there, but they're not there. Do they not have souls? Okay, let's go... With Sally. Look far beyond the anguish of life, deep into the nature 
of all things, therein lies our salvation. Okay, buddy. Oh, you changed it from the boat to the cloud. Okay, I noticed that. Alright, is the door there for you now, dude? Guess not. Alright. I think here I have to... Yeah, I have to get something from the bathroom here. Then from there, I, uh... I'm gonna assume 304 has nothing to do with me. Todd's parents' place. Oh my god, I forgot. They look like... Bad Trip Central, dude. Before the light, there was darkness and nothing more. Oh my god, I feel bad for them. Ugh! It's gross. I saw that was literally just black water. There's something floating in the toilet. I guess I should. Ugh. Gross, dude. You had to make me grab that? Oh, this is Packerton's place. There's not much in here, dude. I guess switch. Am I, so, am I supposed to go to Mr. Packington's? <clears throat> How long have I recorded? 20 minutes. There's a blood stain. That turd's still there? Uh, okay. Don't get why you glitched out like that and summoned Larry to the living realm. Oh, sick. This is the thing I need. Zip zap, dude. I don't know, I don't know why I'm doing so much weird done it. Not done until Michelangelo stuff for him. Alright, not much in here. Okay, right. Anything in this room? Switching back. Okay, now he's just gonna do that whenever he uh, moves at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just, why is he doing that? Place, ain't it? Dude, why is my arm gray? Okay, so this door's not here either.
Okay, so apparently I use this here. And I switch back. Oh god. Rage. Okay, what do you have to say this time, lady? Why do they torment us so, slipping from our grasp, these filthy fucking pigs? They are swine at the feet of God. Animal corpses dragging their claws about and scurrying across dirt, rearranging things, always rearranging. We will annihilate every molecule of their pitiful existence. Okay, Karen, have fun with that. I don't want to piss her off anymore. Okay, so this bathroom was always gross. And nobody bothered to, like, try and clean it. Is there anything good up in here? <sighs> Guess not. Alright, let's get you the heck out of here first, because it's creepier when you're in this realm. And down he goes. Then, uh... Switch. Now let's get out of here. This place gives me the creeps. This room specifically creeps me out. Alright, down we go! Miss Rosenberg's place. Well, Miss Gibson? Uh... There's some rancid smell coming from in here. I feel like I should leave that open. Okay. I got it. Uh, all right, I remember I should go in here. I think it was in here. And I grabbed something. Yeah, I think it was a carrot. Then I go way the flip over here. Then I just Put it down. And switch back. Is this some kind of joke? Oh wait. Do I need to go in here? Oh wait. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna grab the last tape. Oh wait, hold up, that was the wrong thing to do. Hmm. Alright. Flippin' hell. It's the last tape. Alright, we're gonna watch them from Lost all the way down to Slash Slash Slash. Hello? Is anyone listening? Is anyone there? Please, I need help. I I can't remember who I am. It's so dark here. I remember a blinding light, then a burning pain washing over me. Then I was here. I can't shake this feeling of loss and despair. Am I dead? 
phantom. I saw the faded shape of a man. There's something important about him. I can feel it. Like a distant memory itching at the back of my skull. His image is bleeding. It flickers and out of view. In and out of view. It's as if he's trapped in a parallel reality. A phantom just out of reach. Or perhaps I am the phantom. And he resides in the land of the living. I've cried for his attention. But I don't think that I can see. That he can see or hear me. Jeez. Are, there are others here. Parallel to this place. Like the man. Though not significant like he seems to be. They are harder to see and appear less often. And something else, something ominous lurks beyond my vision. Even though my senses can't make it out, I can feel the presence. I can feel the gaze piercing through me. What's left of my humanity is crumbling away in this void. I fear what I am, what I am to become in such endless isolation. Oh, I just went over that one. Why? Why won't you answer me? Every passing moment just silently staring down upon me with no remorse. They're gathering as we speak and they mean to open a vortex. Perhaps into this world. A bridge between us and them. Does this not arouse your attention in any way at all? Sometimes I wonder if you're even real. If there's anyone behind the, that lens. Or just a corpse decaying at the helm. My pleas for help infinitely echo into the vast emptiness of death. Okay. Hunger. Hunger has been tearing at my stomach, and yet I don't die. How long has it been? It's impossible to tell in this endless night. How long must I rot in this fucking prison? No food, no light, no sleep. No contact, nothing, nothing. Just glimpses of life beyond my reach. I wish they would open that goddamn vortex already. I wish they would tear this world apart. I wish they would all end. I need this to end. Mumbling. It's not here. She's not alive anymore. And we won't be. We're so hungry. Now. And this skin, this fucking skin is so itchy. Why? This skin isn't mine. This skin isn't mine, it's not my own. Okay, I'm reading these in the most creepy way manner. Creepy manner possible. These ghosts, so full of life, strong, healthy blood, tender meat. Oh, how we crave their flesh, yet they deny us. Soon, soon we will be there, and they will have called, and we will have answered. The floor is moist. Is this me? There is nothing left. We have consumed. Why do they torment us so? Slipping from our grasp, these filthy fucking pigs. They are swine at the feet of God. Animal corpses digging their claws about and scurrying across the dirt. Rearranging things, always rearranging. We will annihilate every molecule of their pitiful existence. Last one. 
Go oh, fucking hell. I'm gonna try playing them all over, see if they change. Oh, they're all shaky now. Okay, uh, not gonna read any of it, just gonna play them through. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, I don't know, AD. Oh, you can see her progressively getting worse in each video. I don't like this. What happens if I play them all through after the TV screen has cracked? Okay, this is where she's gotten much worse. And the state of no return. What happens if I play it a third time? I thought she was getting like blacked out in that. Okay, just me. Okay, all the tapes are here. Uh, I guess she pulled the same move as uh, there's a buddy here. Oh wait, there's a. Uh, I want to try something before I go in any further. What happens if Larry goes in here? What the fuck? What just happened? Larry's gone! A young boy stands at the threshold of oblivion. Mesmerized by the eternal abyss. What happened to Larry? He just disappeared. Tormented and bound by the worlds of mankind. Oh, Terrence, I forgot how bad this happened to you. Prisoner of flesh and bone. Terrence? How long have you been like this? Ugh. I did not like that. There's way too many hands in that. Did the cult do this to you? Is that a dinosaur hand? The child does not choose his own fate. It has always been this way. You will soon understand the true harmony of the Endless One. Right there, the little green hand. Are you the Endless One? Why are you infecting the souls in this building? Yeah, that's a dinosaur hand. Darkness moves through all things and obeys our will. We are everlasting. We are beyond death. You're also beyond disgusting. Terrence, I know you're in there somewhere. You have to stop this. You speak the name of a child who is no more. Your struggle is meaningless. Then I will stop you myself. You will try and you will fail, as it is, as it always is. Ugh. Fuck, that scared me. Uh. 
I can't beat me, buddy. I've got this figured out. Oh yeah, I got this figured out. <laughs> oh, last one, last one. Oh, we got this. I just popped my elbows. Destroyer achievement unlocked. Nice. I've been waiting for you, Sal. I knew you would be the one. I knew from the moment I saw you. Oh, I'm sorry. My, I drank like a lot of water before recording. And I got like the burps coming in and out of me. Terrence? My apologies, good sir. I haven't quite been myself, and I've caused so much pain. Is it over now? Almost. I'm afraid there's one more task remaining, and it is a hideous one. Whatever it is, I will do it. Whatever it takes to end this for good. You must kill all those who have been tainted by the dark. It's everyone in this building. Those are my friends and family. We've cleared the darkness from their souls. We've already saved them. I'm afraid it is too late for them, Sal. Their souls are destroyed beyond repair. If left unchecked, the shadows will seep through these cracks, and many more lives will be extinguished. My heart weighs heavy in sorrow for you. I know you will lose everything just as I had many years ago. I don't think I can do this. Please don't make me do this, Terrence. It is your choice to make. I know it's an extraordinary burden to bear, but I also know you will do the right thing. I... And I've tried. I tried already to just walk off the screen. Addison is right, Sal. This must be done. I don't know who you are or what you are. Wait a minute. Are you that phantom lady? The one from the tapes? I'm so sorry. I wish there was another way. Oh, this part gets pretty graphic. So I'm warning you guys now. If you don't like this, look away or skip ahead in the video. I'm sure it'll take maybe like a minute or two, maybe two and a half. Just skip ahead until it's out of the point where you don't want to see. Murder Mrs. Gibson. I don't feel well. Oh, God. What do you help me get to my apartment, Sal? Please? Oh, God, I'm choking up on her voice. Oh, bad choice of words. Murder Todd's parents? Dude, they're in a bad trip. Why do I have to do this? Maybe I can just... No, I can't. Sally. Sally Faze, have you seen our little Todd around? We need to talk to him. God, that's so graphic. Oh, God, it's the college kids. Hey, dude, glad you decided to come back. Now we can really get this party started. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Uh, hey, David. Hey, you Sal. You in so feeling all right? I think there's something going around. Oh, God. I feel so bad. 
No, don't make me do this. Chug and so Sowie face. Can't I wipe your shoulders now? God, I feel so bad. No. Sponsored by Nopa Cola. <laughs> The best not cola in the country. The world, even. What's up, my man? You're looking a little worse for wear. Everything okay? That's just his hair dye. Oh, God. Hey, kiddo, there's some leftover lasagna in the fridge. If you're hungry. You know, I may not say this enough, but I'm proud of you, son. Or you, Sal. You've come a long way, and I know it hasn't been, all been easy. I look at you now, and, I, and I'm excited about the man you're becoming. I think you've got a bright future ahead of you. I really do. I love you, buddy. Oh, you can't do that. Okay, everybody back from that horrible experience. Terrence, don't, don't you have to go to? No, I guess not. Everybody back from that experience that we did not go through together. YouTube, don't demonetize me. Nothing happened. This is uh, tomatoes juice. Something. Okay, why was I able to try and do a stitch voice? Something. Something is wrong. I blacked out in the treehouse and woke up in the temple. It had me tied down. There was something else there. I think it was the demon. They cut me and took some of my blood. There was a loud sound, and I passed out again. When I came to, they were gone, and I was untied. I don't feel right, Sal. I think I'm dying. End of suffering. Slit his throat right now. I guess not. Ooh, how long have I been recording? Oh, damn. It was around 3 a.m. when I got the next phone call from Todd. He was crying so hard that I could barely make out what he was saying. I knew Todd and Sal were in trouble and that they were at the apartments. It sounded serious, so I called the police and rode over there right away. I got there just as the police showed up. On my way to the front door, I saw Todd running into the woods. I called out for him, but he just kept running. I approached the building and Sal was standing in the doorway, covered in blood, just staring out. He was mumbling the same thing over and over. I had no choice. I had to do it. There wasn't any other way. I tried to talk to him, but he was unresponsive. The cops pulled me away before I got any closer to him. Sal isn't an evil man. He's not a bad person. He just needs help. Ooh, this ain't looking good. Oh, I hate you. Dr. Inan? He died. He died. How's he here? He's dead. You've handled Mr. Fisher's psychiatric assessment during this time in prison, including several months of therapy sessions. Is this correct? That's not Dr. Anon. His mustache wasn't that big. I don't know about his nose. It probably was that big, not gonna lie. That is correct. 
And what have you concluded from your time with the defendant? It is my pres professional opinion that Sal Fisher is perfectly sane and was 100% lucid while he proceeded to murder the occupants of Addison Apartments. The elaborate story he concocted is simply that, a story. A tale to make him out to be the hero rather than the villain. He was so convincing that I even began to believe this story. I went out to the apartments to visit the treehouse as Sal requested. There was nothing there at all. In fact, the further I poked into his story, the more inconsistencies there were. These inconsistencies, along with all of the contradictory evidence, proved to me that Sal is not delusional, but simply lying to protect himself. In your opinion, is Sal Fisher a threat to the public? Absolutely, without a doubt. You're not even the same doctor. Members of the jury, have you reached a verdict? I don't know why I'm voice acting these characters. Yes, Your Honor. We have reached a verdict. In the case of Sal Fisher versus the County of Knockfell, what say you? God. The members of the jury find the defendant guilty of first degree mass murder. I agree with the jury on the verdict of guilt, and because of the severity of the crime committed, I hereby send Sal Fisher to receive capital punishment. No, you can't do that. He's sick. He needs our help. Order, order in the court. Objection! Well, wait, it's over. I can't object. <laughs> Ashley had tried in almost every way she could think of to prevent Sal's execution and failed with each attempt. Now she sits in her living room as the news reveals that today is the day Sal will be executed. A deep sadness washes over her. It's then that an idea comes to Ash that could change everything, though she'd have to act fast. Oh... Larry, are you here? Please, dude, if you're here, then show yourself. We need to help Sal. He's in trouble. I brought some of your old me music. If this doesn't work, then this is the last time I'm coming up here. Larry? Holy fucking shit. Hey, Ash. You guys were telling the truth this whole time. Well, yeah, duh. I knew it. Well, I had my doubts, obviously, but I really, really wanted to believe it. Just don't fall out of the treehouse, okay? Huh? Never mind. How are you going to help Sal? Oh, I have a plan. Just hold still for a sec. Shit, that's bright. Damn. Oh, hell yeah. That's the evidence of the truth. The ghost and everything. Yes, I got it. Come on. Ride faster. Come on, faster, faster! Yes! Oh my god, I hope he doesn't get put in there. I'm afraid you're too late, honey. They're strapping him in now. Oh, shit. 
Wait, he was telling the truth. I have proof, please. You have to wait. Just let me show you what I found. Oh, God. Hey! Hey, wait! No. No. No! I'm not doing full voice acting for these, because then I'd be yelling into my mic. Time of death, 6.33 p.m. Cell, so, oh god, no. I didn't make it this far. Cassandra Sanderson. Loving wife to Herman Sanderson, 1951 to 1992. Loving husband to Cassandra, 1945 to 1999. Wait, so... 51... 45. Their death was seven years apart. Robert... Rot in pieces, 1969 to 1999. Ray and Janice shared, shared, Ray and J Janice's shared grave. Even death couldn't keep those two apart. Chug. Son, husband, father, friend. 77 to 99. Dude was only 22. Hey, Chug. Miss you, dude. I can't. Son of Lisa and Jim Johnson. 1976 to 1999. They never did find Larry's body. Mother of Larry Johnson, wife of Henry Fisher. 1956 to 1999. Lisa was always so nice to me. She treated me like family. Henry Fisher. Husband and of Lisa Johnson Fisher. Father to Sal Fisher. 1946 to 1999. I can't imagine how much this hurt Sal. And there's nothing further up. Son of Henry and Diane Fisher, 1976 to 2004. Wait, so he killed them five years ago? What? I wish you were here, Sal. Holy crap. So wait, you were like, what, 38? No, wait. You were younger than that. You were about, not 30, because then it'd be 2006. You were 28, dude. Sorry, I haven't visited in a few nights. Things have gotten worse. Holy crap. It's been five months since Todd escaped from the institution. I hope he's okay. He's gotta be under that darn church. It's one of the places we haven't been able to get to. They're down there. I know they are. And they have my Todd. Did you get rest of the C4 from the army, from your army friend? Got it last night. Have you found a way in? I think so. We should go Tuesday night. That's when they're least active. Remember our agreement. If we get caught down there, we won't. 
You're going to get Todd and then blow that place to bits. Neil, I'm serious. So am I. But if we do get caught, then yeah, we take them down with us. I'm ready. Good. At least one of us is. Oh my god, I want to play more, but... Oh, this is the end of the episode, you guys. Next episode might be the last one, and we may be able to finish the story and know what happens. Until then, make sure to leave a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new episodes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay awesome, my friends. Bye!